Hi, Dr. Yas here. Today I want to talk about a session that I had yesterday uh, with this girl who is, to me, quite remarkable. She actually has the ability to ride her bike for these incredible distances. Um, it's what her passion is. It's what she loves to do. And it kind of is the center of her life. And over time, she's ended up having horrible back pain. And it was quite interesting that during our session, the Zoom session I did with her, I could see she kept grabbing her back. And I said, oh, so it looks like just sitting there is having pay, giving you back pain. She's like, yeah. And um, so it's kind of inhibited her from having this incredible life opportunity. How many people would love the idea of being able to stay on your bike for hours at a time for days on end and see the world. It's this incredible thing. And, and I, I, to be very honest, I was inspired by her. I'm a weightlifting guy. When I lift weights, the average set takes me longer, no longer than six, seven sets, seconds. And yet here's a lady who could stay on a bike for hours at a day and for days on end. And it allows her to see the world. It's this really incredible thing. And so, she was obviously very confused about what was causing her pain. And so I went through the process of a YAS evaluation and I saw she had this excessive, excessive arching of her lower back, which indicated there was an imbalance between her psoas muscles, her hip flexors and her quads versus hamstrings and glute max. And um, so it was quite obvious based on my evaluation as to what was causing her pain. And so we went through this process of doing exercises and she already was able to see she was feeling better from it. And um, after the session, she wrote this thing to me and I just wanted to share it with people because it's really why I do what I do. And it is a representation of this gift that I believe that I've been given this understanding of how to diagnose and treat pain in a way that has nothing to do with any curriculum. What I do, this understanding of diagnosing through the physical uh, presentation of symptoms, and if it's found to be muscle, which it is in 98% of cases, to understand exactly how to do the exercises and um, how to use progressive resistance, which without using progressive resistance, increasing the resistance to the muscle adapts by making more strength and therefore reaching a point at which the force output of the muscle is greater than the force requirement of your activities so that you can perform your activities without symptom. It's just the given thing. It's, it's, I don't know how I was chosen for this. I don't even know how I developed all this stuff, but my life's process has got me here. And so when you talk about a woman who does something that to me, I think is miraculous um, and that she's being impeded by pain and cannot get a result through any other mechanism and that I'm being given the chance to help her is kind of the essence of why I think I do what I do. So she wrote this um, after it and I just thought it was very powerful and I just thought people should hear it. She wrote, today's call with you was transformational and the fact that you believe in my ability to basically live my dream and leave my nine to five behind and inspire people massive and what you do is so inspiring and your vision and motivation anyway just feeling lucky and inspired that really summarizes what i'm trying to give to people and what i hope people get from the sessions that i do with them the average person is lost. They're depressed. They're hopeless. They don't think there is an endpoint to this pain that they're experiencing, which is destroying their ability to work, to live their lives, to have relationships. Anyone who's had pain for any sustained period of time knows how this destroys your life. And so this hopelessness, this depression can literally be turned off with a switch by coming into contact with somebody who actually has a legitimate understanding of how to diagnose and treat pain and other symptoms. And upon experiencing 
the rational and logical understanding as to how the method works, this interpretation of symptoms to diagnose the tissue in distress, the person saying, wow, I've never experienced this, and yet it makes so much sense, it, it seems to mean that I will in fact find out what is causing my pain. And then to find out it's muscular and that you could use exercises which you control, you determine whether you're going to do them or not, you get to understand how to do them correctly, you get to utilize progressive resistance to develop the strength to resolve the muscular deficits leading to your symptoms. It's so freaking empowering the sense of going from complete loss of the idea that maybe this is ever going to end to the exact opposite, that in fact it will end and it's under my control, is in fact, the exact word she uses, transformational. And I must assure you that I believe this is some kind of crazy gift I've been given and the ability to transform people's lives gives me a life that very few people can experience, can share in just how big the opportunity is to be able to transform lives. And I want people to know that there is an alternative, that the medical system in all its facets, in all its specialties, is not a monopoly. There is a legitimate alternative, which is not a treatment process, but a diagnostic model. It is a diagnostic and treatment model, the YAS method. And if you're disillusioned, if you're hopeless, if you're depressed, if you believe that this is never going to end for you and you are in a state of indefinite pain, you need to at least be willing to understand what the YAS method is and how it works and how it may help you. That's the point of this video. It's about inspiration. It's about being transformational. And it's about inspiring people. And I'd really prefer that the person who finds out about this not necessarily feel lucky because luck implies that it was just haphazard that they happen to come a, about on the understanding of the OS method. And that is primarily how people come in contact with it at this point. I'd rather it be that there are institutional means by which people get to know about this. So that it's not that just people have to search and find it themselves, but there are institutional manners in trying to get this out and making it become a standard. So that is my hope. That is my dream. What this woman says is the thing that pushes me and never makes me want to stop this and does believe that I am making headway. And this at some point will become standardized and it will be run through institutions and this will become something that people will have an opportunity to have, not just by luck. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my YouTube channel, Dr. Mitchell Yas, please subscribe. So you have an opportunity to know when you'll get notifications, when new videos are added, or when I'm live on YouTube. If you'd like to get in touch with me and you're having issues and you think now maybe the OS method is your path, you can contact me by email at drmitch at mitchellyas.com, D-R-M-I-T-C-H at M-I-T-C-H-E-L-L-Y-A-S-S.com, Dr. Mitch at mitchellyas.com. If you want to get a Zoom session or Skype session set up, so that I can assist you in getting the proper diagnosis. And if it is confirmed to be muscular, which again, it is in more than 98% of cases, we can show you the proper way of doing your exercises and help you, just like this woman, get back to living the life you so justly deserve. For now, this is Dr. Mitchell Yas wishing you a pain-free, fully functional life. Bye-bye for now.